my first wife, Sue, and I became very good friends with him and Hermione. And um, the feeling to me that characterized David at that time, he was very gentle. He was really kind and very polite. You know, he really was that guy who would hold the chair for the lady as she sat down. He'd been in a film, so when we first really started spending time with him, he had a short back and sides. He'd been playing a soldier, I think, in a, a British movie at the time, and he'd had his hair cut to play that role. But it was odd because at the time everybody had long hair suddenly, and now David was uh, short haired. Sue and myself were living in Blackheath. We had a flat in a house owned by a doctor's son who had quite a lot of money and stuff, and he uh, as a hobby, ran uh, a disco. And he got the units and everything in the house, they're all set up. I mean, I absolutely loved it because that's where I was heading. I, I wanted to become a DJ myself, going onto the radio and everything. And I could play on this equipment and learn about how to be a DJ with mic and little speakers and everything. It was sensational. And in fact, he said, next Saturday, I'm sort of double booked. So I've got this other gig, which I can't do do you want to do it? I said, yeah, that'd be great. So I phoned David. So he came along with a, a little Marshall. In those days, there was an amp that was smaller than this one. You could slot a cassette in the front of it, about half the size of that Marshall amp there. And David brought this along with him. I was doing exactly what they asked me to do. I was playing, you know, Stax, Motown, uh, The Stones, Atlantic, Otis Redding, Aretha Franklin. I mean, the place was rocking. And uh, so we're about halfway through the evening, everybody's got beers in their hand. And I, I say on the microphone, we have a special treat. There's a new artist that I think you're going to love. He's going to come out and play. He's got a single coming out later this year. Ladies and gentlemen, this is David Bowie. Right. So David comes out and David had the backtrack of Space Oddity on this little cassette. So he starts to play acoustic guitar on top of and singing on top of this little backtrack. Once you got about halfway back, in the hall, nobody could hear what he was playing. And people started booing, people started shouting, get him off, and, and David had to abandon the song literally about halfway through because everything had got so hostile and noisy and everything else. Sue was there that night and she says she remem vividly remembers me walking out to the center of the stage, you know, red-faced and angry, saying, what is wrong with you lot, you know? This guy's fantastic, he's going to be a star. Mark my words, you will remember the night that you booed David Bowie off stage. Yeah.